Given the bleak state of America's military just after Pearl Harbor, and pressure from its allied leaders, the U.S. initially decided to prioritize their conflict in Europe and postpone any advanced effort in the Pacific. With its war machine in full throttle, however, the United States generals realized that they could easily bring the fight to both fronts simultaneously. General Eisenhower would be in charge of the European theater, but the Pacific conflict would be split into two major lines of attack, the Central and South Pacific corridors. General Douglas MacArthur would drive the Japanese back in the south through the Solomon Islands, New Guinea, and Philippines, while Admiral Chester Nimitz would lead the assault along the Central Pacific volcanic atolls in a strategy that was famously dubbed Island Hopping. Just two months after the Battle of Midway, the first marine amphibious assault was made in the Solomon Islands at Guadalcanal. The Japanese had a major base strategically located to block any and all supply ships heading to and from the Australian Allies. After months of intense jungle fighting and major naval battles in the nearby Coral Sea, the island was finally conquered. Next, the U.S. troops invaded Tarawa and the Gilberts. This tiny strip of coral was being utilized as an enemy airfield to challenge U.S. ships in the area. Although the island was pummeled by aerial attacks and naval bombardment known as softening up, many marines were killed or wounded during the initial invasion. The shallow waters, with their large coral reefs, forced the marines to wade through hundreds of yards unprotected just to get to shore. The island was finally taken in November of 1943 after three days of brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. By February of 1944, the Battle of the Marshals had begun on the island of Kwajalein. The U.S. were beginning to understand how the Japanese organized their defenses and the tactics of fighting they employed. Although the fighting was just as fierce, the Japanese command decided that the outer perimeter islands were expendable and should be used merely as delay tactics. They would lightly reinforce their garrisons for the sake of territories in closer proximity to their homeland. After five days, the overwhelmed Axis forces were defeated. It was then determined that Saipan and the Mariana Islands had to be captured. 